How's it going guys? So iOS 18.4 beta 4 is now officially released to not just developer betas, but also the public beta of this version is also released to everybody else. Aside from the official one, of course. We're still just in the beta stage. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the changes as well as the new features that got added on this latest beta 4 update. Now the devices that also receive a beta 4 software update availability are also as follow right there on the side of my screen. Basically the Apple Watch, Mac OS, iPad OS, Vision OS, and TV OS. But it's mainly the iPhone that received massive software updates during these few betas. But I will give you a quick spoiler, there really wasn't much changes, as you're gonna see in a little bit. But of course, if you'd like to skip around, timestamps are in the description down below for your pleasure. So to be quite honest, there was only one massive improvement for this beta update, and that is RCS. If you ever need to message like an Android user, now you can use gen emojis to create right here on your phone. You can then now send it and share it to other users. So gen emojis with this beta for, for update, you are now able to make gen emojis on social media platforms. And now you can send them to Android users as well and hit send which in reality is just an image, but this is all thanks to RCS 3.0. Now, if you use the double tap gesture on your phone where you tap the back portion to like toggle like certain commands, like here I have an iPhone 15 Pro on beta three. If I double tap the back portion, a little notification icon will appear. Well, now that icon is gone, you see if we go back to our system settings and we click on accessibility and we go into touch, here you'll see back tab. If we enable back tab, to like launch the control camera as an example. The, so if I exit and then do the back tap, it's gonna activate the camera control. So if we go into the previous iPhone on beta three and we hit back tap, again, it gives us that little window icon telling us back tap, back tap has been activated. Meanwhile, on beta four, now it just does that. So Apple did remove that change, unfortunately. Now other changes that's found on this beta four update is now whenever you use like the ambient noise that they added to play like calm noise, if you're focusing on something for work or trying to fall asleep, now when you click on it, it no longer activates like a third app. You see, the app is gone. Before it was glitched to a point where it will actually show like another app opening in the background. Because as you see, I added it in the control center on this previous iPhone on 13. Because on iOS 18.4, the previous one, whenever you open up ambient noises or music, it would actually show that it was running on a dedicated app. You can no longer do that on iOS 18.4. And then for Apple CarPlay, nothing massive has happened, but there has been reports some users have discovered there's a new row of apps available. This is only compatible on like screens that are larger than eight inches. So if you use CarPlay now, you may see that there's an additional app row on your CarPlay UI. But other than that, those are, that's basically it in terms of features. Again, there really wasn't much added on iOS 18.4. But now let's go ahead and go over a performance number see if we gain or lost anything. So if I launch the photo app and show you my previous screenshot, these were the performance number, 34 and about 8,000 in the multi-score. We open up Geekbench and perform this one more time. Let's see if we received an increase in performance or a loss and just run a regular CPU Geekbench run. And let's just give it a minute. All right, so these are the scores that we get, but real quick, let me see the temperature on what the performance and stuff is handling. Still at 89, 80, 90 Fahrenheit. Nothing crazy out of the ordinary, very normal. Let me screenshot this and let's check out the previous score. So this was the previous score and we go to the right. That's the new score. Lower numbers, but nothing crazy or enough to make like a dramatic difference. In fact, we received a better performance number in the multi-core. So it looks like it definitely looks like beta four did improve a little bit of the performance issues from previous bugs now resolved on beta four, which is a good thing. But there you guys have it. That is everything there is to know about beta four. But if you'd like to know the release date when the official version of iOS 18.4 should be released, it looks like we have a better understanding when that will happen because sometimes next week we should receive beta five and then the next one after that would be the rc basically the official version for it to the developers 
they're typically the first one to receive it. And then the week next to that would be the official version. So something tells me either the first, but likely the second week of April is when the official version of iOS 18.4 will be released for everybody else. But it's clear beta 4 was primarily just bug fixes and such and minor improvements and the removal of the back tab little window, unfortunately, but it may come back later on. Who knows? Still too early to tell. But this was definitely a bug fix improvement from the previous beta. And then speaking of uh, April, sometime during April, I think next week is when we start when we start to see the invitation for WWDC get released for mid-April release. And that's when we should see the previews of iOS 19, which is said to be extremely overhaul and significantly improved on iOS 19. And this will bring a lot of useful features. Not only Apple intelligence will be hopefully perfected, but there has been rumors saying that AirPods will have the ability to actually translate in real time which is a feature that we've been seeing Samsung earbuds have. Hopefully Apple could perfect it because they're kind of buggy on their end, but it's rumored that on iOS 19, AirPods Pros will have that ability. But there you guys have it. That is everything you need to know about this latest generation version of iOS 18.4. Let me know in the comment section, which one of these features are you looking forward to? And of course, if you enjoyed, a like would be definitely appreciated as I like to keep you guys updated on the latest updates. So by leaving a like, but then like lets me know that you guys do enjoy these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching.